What's up everybody, this is Steve Stralacci and today we are looking at a really cool learning tool for guitar. My friends at Ninebuzz Software reached out to me about their Lead Guitar Players Toolkit, which is a four app bundle. And I've really been enjoying it. It's been helping me level up my guitar playing. I have been so guilty of, I'm sure everyone, every guitar player can relate to this, where you buy like 20 books that you're like, oh, I'm, I'm really gonna learn this time. And like, as far as music theory goes, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna use this book. And you spend like 20 bucks per book and you have a whole shelf of books that are remain that will remain unused in your closet like I do. This is a cool little toolkit. It's 15 bucks, it gets you four apps. And the four apps are actually really, really useful um, in a multitude of ways. The first one I wanna highlight here is called the Drum Beats Plus. So the Drum Beats Plus is basically a drum machine app where you can literally just pick a drum groove and you can write over it, you could jam over it and it's really easy. You could set your tempo. So here we have a, a tempo selector where you could select all your tempo. Say we want to be at 120. And then all of these different beats that you have to choose from to jam along with. So this dice button here will select a random groove. And now, as you can see, we have a little bit of a random groove going. And as you hear, there's a groove playing for you to solo over or to write over. So this is Born Wild, so I would assume the uh, the tempo button next to it says this should be about 140. So as you can hear this groove happening now and you can jam over it. And you can keep mixing and matching, hit that random button. This one's called Pea Soup. And just, you know, write riffs over it. And I'm just messing around with stuff. None of that was planned. I was hitting the randomizer, just messing with some riffs and some playing with um, with the drum machine. Let's go to the next app, which is the Lick Master, which is a really cool lick learning library. So say you're in this menu here and you wanna learn any of these. So you got some cool ones here, actually. Let's just look. We got Texas Trouble, Classic Rock, King Blues, all really cool stuff. So let's say we're gonna go with the Texas Trouble. Who doesn't love some Texas Blues? I'm a huge, uh, SRV fan. Um, let's see what this turnaround is. What do we got here? So let's say you want to learn this Texas turnaround lick. Um, you see you could separate it into the parts here, part two. So that's the whole lick for you. Like every lick that you hit will have this whole separated um, system for you. And then say you wanna just focus on the first phrase. It does it right there, breaks it into a chunk for you. Say you wanna put it on half speed. And then you want it to loop. can do this until you know you're content with how you can execute the lick and you have a huge library of licks at your disposal already that come with the uh, package and I think there's other ones that you can buy and add on which are really great as well the next app is the modal buddy so the modal buddy is really cool for me because I've dabbled in theory enough to like be able to get by where I could speak to I could speak the language but I've never actually like study study studied modes or anything and I've always been intrigued by them. I do know a good bit about them but having something like this as a reference tool or even if you're a first time learner, it's really great. Um, it's probably one of the best examples of teaching the modes that I've come across. It, it breaks it down into chapters as you can see here and it breaks each one down into um, feelings, the scale shapes, 
why they are the way they are, why they sound the way that they do, and how to create your own solos while using the mode. Uh, as you can see here, this is the curriculum, all the different chapters. It's got some really cool, useful stuff in here. Like I said, learning the modes is really great on here, but what makes this really applicable to me is this practice tool. Here you see I have the Ionian mode, and then if I hit play, it hits me with a jam track that I could play over. So what key are we in? We're in G. And I could play along in the Ionian mode. If I want to switch modes, I just have to swipe and now I'm in Dorian. And the cool thing about the way this is laid out it's really great to hear because it keeps the scale shapes the same. So if you look at the scale shapes tab, you see the scale shape stays the same. So it basically changes the chords around what you're already playing, which I think is really good for training your ear and not having to think because I feel like the G major scale, you, you know your G major scale up and down by now. So if you are saying Dorian mode here, you just have to stick with the same fingerings that you're already using. And it even outlines for you the root note of, you know, the key that you're now playing in. So when you're playing an A Dorian, it tells you A is the root note. So that's going to be where you want to be landing. Safe landing spot will be the root note. And you just keep going up and down the modes until you are blue in the face. You have your Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and your Locrian. You could just swipe back and forth using the same scale positions that you're already comfortable with. It changes the chords for you so that you can get a hang of the sound and feel that you're going for with the modes. Really, really useful app. Even just for this jam section where you have the, uh, the backing track and you have the scale shapes laid out right in front of you. Um, I think that makes this invaluable immediately right off the bat, but having the uh, curriculum on there also, I think it's, this is worth the 15 bucks alone if you ask me, if you want to uh, advance your guitar knowledge at least. And finally, we have the Jam Tracks. So the Jam Tracks is exactly what it sounds like. It's a whole library of Jam Tracks that you can now use. I would suggest using this one last because you just learned some licks, you just learned how to use and apply the modes, and now you have backing tracks for you to jam over. So you have at the bottom section here, you can choose a key. So you want to be in A, oh, there's A, and uh, it'll put you in A. You want to be in C, D, E, whatever you want to be in. Um, let's say we are going to go for A. We can get major or minor. And as you see, the scale shapes change according to what you're playing. And in this top corner here, we have types of blues. So let's say our types of blues. We have types of backing tracks. I like humbucker blues, so I'm gonna go with humbucker blues, key of A minor, how typical am I? I am just going to uh, jam a little bit over this. And now say, I'm curious what chords I'm playing over. There you go, you swipe over, you have all of the chords laid out in the progression that you're soloing over. Really, really useful. And you can just continue to jam 
um, until, like I said, you're blue in the face. Um, really cool to jam over, really easy, a lot of different styles. You, you, can, have, you can even do the randomizer where it'll keep uh, changing styles every time the uh, progression cycles, which is really useful if you wanna you know, throw yourself some curveballs and um, see how good you really are with this stuff. So that is the Lead Guitar Player Toolkit from Nine Buzz. I hope you guys consider checking it out. I have links in the description below and uh, check it out. Get your guitar playing up, get your theory up and come back and report to me in the comments. Let me know how you guys did and how you guys are liking the app. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.